birds are an example of irreducible complexity. Mm. You have to have several components and subsystems all in place at once for that bird to fly. So you can't evolve uh, a bird step by step. And I think you can see that also with the development of flight. Here in the United States, uh, it's very famous for the invention of flight with the, the Wright brothers at the beginning of the 20th century. And what's interesting is that they never developed flight by process of, process of evolution. They had to get everything all in place, uh, all at the right time. They had to get those aerodynamic wings, they had to have the lightweight structures, they had to have the control mechanisms as well. And only when everything came together could they produce that first famous mm -hmm. aeroplane. And they had to use a lot of creativity to do that. Interestingly, the Wright brothers actually studied pigeons and they said that enabled them to fully understand how to produce an aeroplane because they noticed the pigeons twisting their tail feathers and that was the point when the Wright brothers realised that when a plane is banking, you needed a counteracting mm. control surface. And they saw that in oh. pigeons. When they were taught by God's creation, then they realised how to design aeroplanes. So I think that's a wonderful example.